Till now, we did addition of only two vectors. But now in this video, we will learn how to add more than two vectors. So let's say we got four vectors, a vector, b vector, c vector and d vector. And we are adding them to find the resultant vector r. So when adding the vectors graphically, we connect them the same way we were adding two vectors. We connect them head to tail. This is the rule we always have to follow while adding vectors. So let's define the vectors first. Let's first draw the vector A. Let's say this is the vector A. Then vector B. So let's assume our vector B is like this. Then vector C. Let's say this is the vector C. Then vector D. So let's say vector D is like this. Now we want to add the four vectors. So let's first take our vector A. Then the vector B should be connected on the head of vector A. Tail of vector B should be on the head of vector A. Now tail of vector C would be connected to head of vector B. And then we have to connect vector D. So the resultant vector R would start from the tail of A vector and end at the head of vector D. So this is our vector R. Now addition of more than two vectors also follows the commutative law. Which means even if we change the order of addition of the vectors, the resultant would remain same. The resultant remains same. So let's say R vector is equal to B vector plus D vector plus C vector plus A vector. So first we got vector B. Then we have to add vector D. Then we need to add vector C. And finally vector A. So then if we put the R vector and you can see that it's still perfectly fitting with the figure. So the order of vector addition is not important. All that is important is we have to add them head to tail. So what if instead of addition of four vectors, we got subtraction. Now here we have to find out a vector minus b vector minus c vector plus d vector. So let's define the vectors again. a vector, let this be a vector. Then let this be b vector. This is b vector and let this be the c vector. This is c vector. Finally this is the d vector. So here we have d vector. Now we can rewrite the equation again as r vector is equal to a vector plus negative of b vector plus negative of c vector plus d vector. Since we want negative of b vector so negative b vector will be like this. This is negative b vector. Similarly, negative c vector will be like this. This is negative of c vector. Now let's add the four vectors a vector minus b vector minus c vector and d vector. So first we take vector a. Then we take negative b vector. Then we take negative c vector. 
and finally d vector then the r vector will be like this starting from the tail of a vector up to the head of d vector so this is our r vector we could also change the order of these vectors so first we could take d vector then we could take minus c vector then we could take a vector and finally minus b vector then r vector would still be formed by joining the tail of d vector to the head of b minus b vector